Hello Utes, this is Katie at Seabrook United Methodist and today we're going to continue our wisdom series. We are going to pick up with Proverbs, but before we do that, I want to say congratulations to Parker and Connor Roberts for participating in this past week's challenge. Last week I sent you guys a challenge asking you to let me know which of the three books of wisdom you identify with most. And if you recall, Proverbs is the black and white thinking, Ecclesiastes is the gray area thinking, and Job is the dude that just wants to know why bad things happen to good people. Connor and Parker have responded. They say that they are Ecclesiastes gray thinkers. I am too. <laughs> So watch for those prizes. Um, I also mentioned last week that you should start looking at the Bible Project videos on YouTube. They are amazing. The artists, the, the art in their videos, it, it's awesome. It's so good. It's I wish I wish I could see it when I was when I was your age and in youth group. Um, they condense the information into a very artful and clear way. And I encourage you this week to go watch the overview of Proverbs. Bible Project on YouTube. Overview of Proverbs. When you're done watching that video, I want you to go to your Bible or your Bible app and open up to Proverbs chapter 30. There you will find the sayings of Augur, Agur, A-G-U-R. He is what the artists at the Bible Project call the ideal student. And in this chapter, he's, it's, it's poetry. It's, he's talking to God. And there are a few little bits that, that stuck out to me that I'd, I'd like your input on. First thing that stood out to me is Proverbs chapter 30, verse seven, verse seven through nine. Um, two things I ask for you, of you, Lord, don't refuse me before I die. Keep falsehood and lies far from me and give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, who is the Lord? Or I may become so poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. He's asking for just enough, which I think is kind of cool. Just thought I'd share that one with you. Um, so ruminate on that this week. Um, the other ones I wanted to read to you are riddles. And, and I just, I want your, I want your thoughts on them. Chapter, Proverbs chapter 30, verse, it starts in verse 15. There are three things that are never satisfied. Four that never say enough. The grave, the barren womb, land which is never satisfied with water, and fire which never says enough. Hmm. Here's another one. There are, oh, this is, this is verse 18. There are three things that are too amazing for me, four that I do not understand. To wait for the plane to pass. Okay, I think it's better now. Chapter, chapter 30, verse 18. There are three things that are too amazing for me and four that I do not understand. The way of an eagle in the sky, the way of a snake on a rock, the way of a ship on the high seas, and the way of a woman with a young man. This one's my favorite. Verse 21, 
Under three things, the earth trembles. Under four, it cannot bear up. A servant who becomes a king. A godless fool who gets plenty to eat. A contemptible woman who gets married. And a servant who displaces her mistress. Hmm. Four things on earth are small, yet they are extremely wise. Ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. Hyraxes, I think those are goats, are creatures of little power, yet they make their home in the crags of little places in the mountaintops. Locusts have no king, yet they advance together in ranks. A lizard can be caught with the hand, yet it, fa yet it is found in king's palaces. <laughs> There are three things that are stately in their stride, four that move with stately bearing. A lion, mighty among beasts, who retreats before nothing. A strutting rooster, a he-goat, and a king secure against revolt. Think about it. Um, and on that note, I'm signing off, but not before. I formally accept Bill Stites's Bible Lesson Challenge. Bill Stites, the leader of the adult Bible study group, has challenged the youth group to a Bible lesson throwdown. And we're throwing down. Tune in next week. We will be presenting our exploration of wisdom and we're going to beat the pants off of Bill Stites. Have a good week.